Welcome to Dashboards and Autodesk Tandem. Today I will be highlighting interactions and vi visualizations within the dashboard feature and how filtering plays a role. Starting off, users will need to create a dashboard by giving it a name and if desired, select a saved view. Taking advantage of saved views can help save time when creating a dashboard as this will populate filter selection for you. Starting off across the top, filtering can be adjusted and selection can be updated to the user's preference. Then the cards on the left provide an overall summary and the cards across the bottom dive deeper into the parameters, classifications, assets, spaces, and many other facets of the facility asset data. Users have the ability to adjust the size of each card in the dashboard to their liking. Don't need a card? No problem, remove it. Want to see the summary of completeness for a specific parameter? We can do that too. Tagged assets by level, that's easy. Once all the cards are selected, roll the cursor over the cards to see what that section is displaying. Most importantly, don't forget to save your dashboard for later use and reference. With so many cards to choose from, ease of access to asset data completeness has never been easier, paving the way to ensure that the required asset data has been populated correctly at handover. For more info on this feature, please visit Tandem's Autodesk Knowledge Network site by following the link provided.